Next, I'm going to hand over to Aurelian, please, um, from Cyrodiil, who's going to be presenting on digital twins and smart cities. So over to you, please. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Can you all hear me well? I can hear you well. And right. your screen. Uh, I assume so. Uh, so perfect. Thank you for this invitation uh, to speak. Yeah, and thank you for your work uh, and of a digital twin uh, hub. Uh, in eight minutes, I will try to present uh, Ciardel, who we are, uh, where we come from, what are our journey on the digital twin, what are our inside, and I will finish uh, presenting one of, of our reference, which is one of the biggest uh, reference, I think, in terms of uh, digital twin for smart cities and smart territories, and specifically to use case. So. Ciardel, we are a French company, that's why you have to support my French accent. And uh, we come initially from the telecom ecosystem and the simulation. So we are experts on radio simulation and radio propagation. And we are assisting telecom companies or public and private uh, telecom operators to do and to design their uh, radio network. And we realized really quickly that to do so, we need to have an accurate geodata, 2D and 3D geodata. And that's why, since the last 25 years, we became one of the biggest producers in Europe of 2D and 3D geodata for telecom operators. Based on that, we, we create a solution uh, called Smart City Explorer, which allow to display and to present the geodata, the 3D geodata we present, we, we produce, and to aggregate also additional third-party data. So that's, that's the journey we've done from telecom radio simulation to geodata and to present geodata and aggregate geodata from telecom ecosystem to the smart city and digital twin ecosystem, where we produce a 3D model of a city, aggregating based on the 3D part, various data sets. Um, we are more or less 200 employees. We are based in France. We have also office in APAC and in RAM. And my secret dream is to open a UK subsidiary in the coming three years. So help me, guys. <laughs> One word, what, what do we have behind a, a digital twin? For us, as you understood, we came from the geodata. So we produce geodata. Uh, we have more than 3,000 3D geodata off the shelf. And then based on this geodata, we aggregate external data, open data, public data. That's amazing, the amount of open data available for various city all over the world, specifically in Europe. Third point, we had on the top of that simulation ability. Uh, potentially, we under you understood we come from this world about simulation, but uh, we also have the possibility to aggregate simulation from third party players. And having this data simulation geodata, we provide data visualization with 2D, 3D dashboard, that's what you can see on the, on the side, and uh, a collaborative and web-based solution collaborative for all the various players in a city uh, where you can have some CDOTD use case, we'll have a common repository where they can see the various data uh, addressed. We are use case driven. It, it, it's kind of obvious to say that, but for us, a digital twin, it's not just a big sandbox where you aggregate all the available data. It has to be driven by a use case to choose, to carefully choose and select the data to create the specific KPI to be able to understand your city and to uh, play some uh, specific use case to, to have a better planning, understanding and communication about your project. I can say that today for smart city and smart territories, obviously all use case about environmental decarbonation paths, uh, helping city to become carbon neutral. It's something that we are working a lot uh, for, for, for this project. And to do so, we have developed some specific methodology. Uh, we have a pool of smart city managers which help cities to understand which are the adequate data sets uh, to understand and also to identify and point all the local partners because you know you, you can't understand a city, uh, you, you can't be totally disconnected to the city. So you have to play with local partners to integrate their data, to integrate their knowledge about the city and to decode what's behind this data correlation on the digital tree. You understood at the beginning, we, 
we are experts and we have many 3D city of the shelf. Uh, the 3D city we produce initially for telecom operators. We have, I think, 20 or 25 city in 3D in UK. If we don't have your city of the shelf, we have the capability to produce it, but we also have the capability to integrate existing 3D geodata on our solution. And simulation. Uh, we came from the radio simulation, so we have plenty of use cases around that, around electromagnetic field exposure, 5G design, 5G exposure. Uh, but we also have integrated some capability in mobility uh, to do some simulation about traffic, about impact on work for traffic. Photovoltaic uh, solar potential. I should have said that Cyradel joined six years ago NG company, which is one of the biggest uh, energy provider in France and in Europe. Uh, and we integrate various simulation capability on the digital twin. And last platform uh, to be able to visualize, simulate, and also communicate. Because once you have your um, digital twin established with all the various data sets you can have in it, it's good to use the 3D support and the 3D model when you can have a very good contextualization of the data to have a, a good understanding of the project of where I should invest uh, first, etc. And we help uh, also our customer using the digital twin project on communication to help on the project acceptance and project communication. That's all the various use cases uh, we can address. Uh, we, we have countless number of specific use cases. As I mentioned at the beginning, all use cases for smart city and smart territory around climate change and environmental impact are something that where we have a lot of uh, reference and expertise, but also, as I said, in radio, telecom, mobility. And I can name uh, nearly one use case per block here easily. So do not hesitate to uh, ping me if you have any specific question. I will try to conclude and to be very more uh, concrete. So let's see the three use cases. This one is Ile de France, and I will display one short video about uh, what we have. It's, I can say, the biggest digital twin in Europe, uh, where we have the model more than 2.5 million of 3D building and aggregate media data sets. Angers Val de Loire, which is a very interesting project uh, with a global performance energy contract. Uh, and you, you will be able to see the video. And Monaco, where we have developed an hyper realistic 3D digital twin with a centimetric scale, and where we are also addressing various use cases. Catherine will, will share this video, this uh, slide deck, and all the pictures are clickable uh, to have access to the video. So uh, feel free to, uh, to enjoy this, uh, this various video and use case. I will have a focus on the Ile-de-France project. Just give me a second, that's here. And that's a video we have done for the region Ile-de-France. Ile-de-France, it's area around Paris. That's eight departments around Paris. And for the 12 million inhabitants here, we have developed, uh, as I was saying, one of the biggest digital twin in Europe, where we aggregate 3D geodata, 2.5 million buildings in 3D, and more than 10,000 data sets. Uh, so the idea was to create a collaborative platform where we aggregated data and we, we onboard many partners. They can use uh, the data to create their specific services. We have done so far more than 30 services. You will have the link when you can uh, click and see this is an open platform. You can, you, you can see on, on it and uh, see all the various services we have developed. You see the first approach of a technical uh, 3D model and all the data catalog that uh, we have on board on this model, which could be, I don't know, public transportation, air quality, uh, where I can buy some um, bio vegetables, etc. And based on all these use cases, we have developed uh, various use cases. Um, and I will present now two use cases that uh, we have specifically done. One was about solar potential, where we use our capability to do simulation and our 3D model 
to calculate for each building in this area what could be the potential uh, to install a PV on the top of the roof uh, and to check what could be the energy consumption economies that you can have here and energy optimization. And the second use case, it's smart work. It's once again, we aggregate uh, with our partner here all the data available and to be able to do some filtering and uh, to check where I could have my work uh, locally on, a, on or as a digital nomad worker. That's one about around the 20 uh, potential use cases or 20 or 30 potential use cases we have developed. Feel free to go on the platform. Uh, that's what you see here. The link is clickable, sending you directly on the platform. I think I should not be that bad around the eight minutes. And uh, I will be glad to have all your questions at the end.